So you have your first new teammate and um, your team's starting to grow. And as soon as you get that first new girl, I suggest starting a leadership binder. Um, it's just going to be easier to keep track of as your team grows if you start one off immediately. And in the front of mine, I just have a few important papers. Um, the requirements are always there to stay eligible. And um, I have the Prep Academy information. This is all the new stuff too. Um, the posh points and the pay plan. So I have all that handy just in case I'm having like um, a massive brain fart and I can't think. So I can at least open this up and I can pull all the information out of it. So, and also every single month, um, I keep tabs on my team volume and my company volume. I write them out every single day at the end of the day. Um, I write down what our team volume is and what our company volume is. Um, when you're just starting out and um, you know, like when you're ranking up to pink plus one through pink plus three, um, you just have company volume. But once you hit, you know, like silver premiere, everything kind of changes. You have team and then you have company. So I try to keep track of both. Um, so I write it down every single day at the end of business day. I write down what our team volume was and what our company volume was. So I can go back the previous month and see where we are. You know, are we behind where we were last month? And then I try to figure out why. You know, what can we do to kind of pick up the pace a little bit? And, um, you know, it just keeps track. So later, like, I can go back and be like, holy crap, you know, look at that October. Or, you know, look how much we blew September out of the water. So um, it's really it's a really nice way of keeping track of all your volume. And another thing I have in my leadership is just in my leadership folder is just stuff, just my personal goals. Um, what did I do, you know, last month? What was my current rank? Um, what was my previous month's personal volume? You know, what was my team volume? Um, I go through all of that. I set my current month goals, have that all handy. And then um, the month and results, you know, how did I end the month? So um all that's right there. And then I can use this information to transfer it over to November's. You know, I can just open up and get to November's. What was, um, you know, my month end results. I can just transfer that over to November's sheet. And I also do this with all of my frontline. Um, all of your frontline girls, you need to have all their information in your planner, in your leadership planner, binder, whatever you want to call it. But you need to do the same thing for all of your frontline girls. Um, Keep tabs on them. Keep track of what they're doing. You know, their current rank. Same thing as you do for yourself. Um, and then it's going to make it easier each month. Whenever you go through and you try to set their goals, you can kind of see what they did the month before. And you can base next month goals on previous month um, numbers. So um, it's honestly, it's really, really easy to keep track of. I keep track of it on paper and I also keep track of it digitally on Excel. Um, I like both ways because I like to have the numbers, you know, right in front of me. And um, so I know what I'm doing and I just like to have a backup, you know, computers can crash, you can lose your data, whatever. I just like to have um, backup on file. So um, I always print off, I always write the results out. And if I do it like this, it makes me do it. You know, like there's been months where I didn't do anything simply because it was all digital. And then I forced myself to go, you know, physical, do physical copy. So I forced myself to do it because I have the number sitting right in front of me. Um, you don't have to stick strictly with your frontline girls with this either. You can do, you know, you're going to have some girls on your team that are really going to stick out. Um, I don't do just my frontline. I do you know, there's certain girls that are trying to bust rank and they're not my front line. So, you know, I keep information on them in my binder. And um, even if my girls, you know, I have some girls on my front line that are just social sellers and that's totally cool. I still keep all of their information in this binder. So I have it because, you know, they, they may change their mind. They may be like, okay, you know, I'm ready to grow my team. I'm ready to get started. So then we can go and we can sit down and we can go over goals. And I still have all of their information in my binder. So I don't have to spend, you know, a week going over the past two or three months sales, what they've done. But, um, on my sheets, I also put that I keep their phone number, address, email address, and everything right there handy. And um, but if you do a binder like this for uh, leadership, I just call it my leadership binder. Um, it's really going to help you out in the long run. It's going to keep you organized. Um, it's going to force you to write down your important numbers. Um, Keep track of your team volume. Keep track of your company volume. Keep track of your team size too. You know because um, whenever you start making goals. You don't want to make your goals too insane. You know, if your team monthly recruits last month were 
or, you know, you don't want to shoot for 15 the next month. You know, you kind of keep it in proportion. So you can easily find your team growth percentage. So, you know, if you grew by 10% last month, shoot for like 11% or 12% the next month. But, you know, don't don't just go insane. Don't try to double your percentage growth. And um, if you didn't have any growth at all, then, you know, that's something you need to work on. That's something you need to can take into consideration for maybe an incentive for next month or some kind of contest you can throw in there for next month. But um, I highly suggest doing something like this right off the bat so you don't have to throw it together. You know, once you have like a team of 20, it's going to get harder and harder to um, keep track of everybody. So if you start off early, it's going to save you a lot of headache in the long run.